Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Yep, the Gorok Squad is no more. The legendary Pokemon have been freed. The big bad evil Styler machine can actually be evil is destroyed. Uh, we have definitely become a ranger in every regard. I think we probably maybe surpassed every ranger up to this point. <laughs> So now we got a new little ability here that we're being authorized. Just gotta wish the Pokemon to return home safely upon release. And that means we can take Pokemon from any environment to any other environment without that whole restriction of you gotta release Pokemon when you leave a certain environment. So that'll be your puzzle solving thingajigger for all the stuff that we've seen all around the world we had no access to, which is basically post game stuff. <laughs> So he says, gotta get more Pokemon, well, asks us to get more Pokemon, and well, that is exactly what we're gonna do. How many more Pokemon there are, though, is something that I'm gonna keep a secret. That does sound exciting, though, so I'm gonna say yes to that. And here is Professor Hastings, how's it going? Yeah, everything's doing well, doing well. I just got an upgrade to my authorization, I guess you can say. And looks like we're getting an add-on to our Styler as well. So let's upgrade our Styler to 1.126904 and a half. And done! Our Styler has been upgraded! Woo! But what does this do? Yeah, question mark, question mark, question mark indeed. <laughs> So let's see here, it is a new option to our pause menu type thing call, called the Ranger Record. And this is pretty much like a fun fact area of sorts, I guess you could say. It's not super helpful, it's just there to be all fun and stuff like that. <laughs> so yeah, we I'll definitely check that out after this little bitty conversation. And I kind of disagree that the knowledge that you gain from that will improve your skills, but <laughs> I will uh, let him believe that, I guess. Yes, yes. <laughs> but for now, it's just mine, I guess. Woo! Alright. I shall do so. And... Eh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably end up at Fall City by the end of this part. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Based on the planning that I want to do. <laughs> mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, yeah, no problem. And now. Yeah, did you, you notice something about the Plusle and Minon? They were just kind of like. Not only was that scene hilarious, but they were just so happy about that, and. Well. Well, guess what? Yes, it happened! It happened! Well, we don't get a second partner Pokemon, but we do get it added to our browser on the top screen here. Yep, we finally got the Minon added to the browser, so it's a post-game Pokemon. Heck yeah! Let's see. What do peeps have to say here? Wait, actually, I should check this first. So here's the, here's the records. This is what I mean about it not really being super useful. Like, how is this going to help you? How is this going to help you? Etc, etc. But it is all interesting information because this is stuff that they've been taking notes of that you didn't even know the whole time. And, and yeah, now we're getting all sorts of information on it. And yeah. <laughs> no game overs. Thank you. Thank you. Didn't even save my game all that much. Just walk through. <laughs> and yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Well, I guess it was about one one save per part, plus, you know, the little extra saves that I did here and there. But yeah, these might be handy so that you know uh, which ca capture challenges you need to check out and whatnot. But the rest of them, nah, not really. <laughs> now, this is really funny. Listen to this. Solana, what are you up to? I'm in the middle of a mission. I don't know what kind of mission it is. Oh, I can see it in your eyes. You're itching to know. The mission I'm on is. Write your own theme song! <laughs> I'm not finished yet. Well, wanna hear what I have so far? The theme for Murph. 
Go, go, Ranger, go! Ranger Murph's on the turf, oh yeah, yeah! He's always there to take the call. You can knock him down, but he won't stay down. Spin that silent, baby! He's always willing to answer the call. Go, 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 Ranger, fly! Ranger Murph's on the surf, oh yeah, yeah, he's so fly! Yeah, it's not quite finished, but I like how it's shaping up. <laughs> that is... Incredibles. <laughs> so anyway, as I said, I'm gonna head over to Fall City now to do some stuff over there. Namely, that capture challenge first, because it'll unlock stuff for other capture challenges. So, Fall City it is. Here we go. You get to see the symbols there, all at one screen. Well, except for Ringtown, of course, but yeah. <laughs> and... There we are. <laughs> so, the first thing that I'm gonna be doing here is going over, I think it's down this way, yay, yay, yes, yes, this is it. Basically, well, I could have gotten this earlier, I think, when I came back through the city, but I'm not sure when it actually happens, oops. But basically, I want to capture this Meowth to get something else in a different area. Ah, I can't believe I'm having so much difficulties capturing this little fluffer. This is... it's impossible. I just captured three legendary beasts, and the Meowth is giving me more difficulties. Okay, <laughs> so basically up here something has changed. See that gate? Yeah, we're gonna slash that. You could use a Meowth, maybe a Paris from the cave, anything from anywhere now to take care of that, but I just went for the Meowth just because it's right there. And this is where I'm starting my post-game treks. So if you chat with this guy here, I stand here, I get a creepy feeling as if someone's staring at me. Is it just my imagination? Hmm, maybe, maybe. Oh, wait, wait, what is that? What is that? Oh, you see me, didn't you? You see me, didn't you? Well, guess what? It's a Kirkleon! Yep, it's a secret invisible Pokemon. And, oh, and it just side beamed me. <laughs> It's kind of hard to keep track of because it's so invisible, but not impossible to collect, especially since it doesn't take very many loops to catch. And there's another reason why I didn't go back for it. It's pretty much useless for on the field or even Poké Assist to work, so yeah. Do you have anything to say about my capture? I guess not. Well, you don't have to worry about that Kecleon anymore until I release it. <laughs> Now, uh, back over here at the Dusk Factory, there's actually some changes as well. One of them only comes out post-game, and I'm gonna start out by flopping myself over down, I guess, the left door over here. And now we're gonna see Haunter around this place. Yeah, Haunter, look at that! It's another ghosty! It can spirit your Pokémon away too, so don't let it grab your buddies. And uh, you can also go invisible, which it probably will do. Yes, it did. So what you want to do is kind of, yeah, do something like that. Just keep holding on the screen and just wait for it to reappear and then go over to, and continue your circling spree. Not that difficult to catch or anything like that, but yeah, it's just something that we got to do for a browser. Heck yeah. <laughs> and now back the other way. And not the Magnemite. The Magnemite is not what we're looking for. I think the arrow room was... yes. So in the middle of this, somewhere, look, look at that, it's another one of those invisibles. Oh no, it's Porygon, which you can kind of see against the background. Very easy to catch. <laughs> Just wait for it to stop moving and do three quick circles. And there we go. And sure enough, Nothing and nothing. <laughs> it's just there for collector's sake, I guess you could say. Alright, so now that I got those two bad boys, I do believe the Dusk Factory is now 100%ed. I could be wrong, though. I've got a bunch of notes that I took after the game on my browser that I wrote down which Pokemon that I need to get, and I think those are the only ones that I needed left to get at the factory. So, yes, yes, and now I'm going to go over to the capture arena, which I think is somewhere this way, I, th I think. Yes, this is it. So yeah, this is the capture arena of Fall City. And we can just take a look-see around here. There's peeps that have some stuff to say. This guy is really excited. Ranger, I'll tell you confidently, 
You see, there's a Pokemon that you can only meet, but guy getting a high score at the arena. And this is why I want to do this arena first, out of all the arenas in the world, because it'll unlock those Pokemon in said other arenas. That Pokemon would be the Furo, the Kisara Plane. The Ranger Dave Spencer, that's how you got a Furo as his partner. Same thing goes for the Grassland Challenge and Marine Challenge. If you can get the highest scores of those events, you'll get the chance to see some special Pokemon. Some post-game. <laughs> Like the same kinds of Pokemon as the partners of Joel and Cameron. So I'm trying to say is, go for it! Excuse me, Ranger. Can you point out what the capture arena happens to be? Uh, um, uh, uh, yes, in, yeah, did you not check the sign? I'm pretty sure that sign will tell you it's capture arena. <sighs> yeah, you are a frustrating guy. <laughs> So yeah, welcome to the Capture Arena. The reigning top score is 50,000 points. So we're going to try and get that. And let's chat with the people before here. We're going to get some tips over here as to what we can do to achieve the best results, I guess you can say. They'll basically give you all the little nuances, I guess you could say, besides the points of each Pokemon and whatever. But you aren't going to be counting the points as you're doing stuff, so yeah. Uh, so if you draw extra loops, you can just regain more energy with your Styler, but only with the Pikachu family, well, Pichu family, or Raichu family, whatever you want to call it. The Electric Rodin family, yeah. Not counting Puzzle, Mine, and Patrice. Ah, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, let's hear it. So, this is one of the times that drawing extra loops will come in handy. In fact, I'd say that's essential for completing this challenge, actually. But, yeah, you're not gonna really gonna keep extending your time, because you only start with two minutes, unless you do that those extra circles. So whenever you have the opportunity to do extra circles, do those extra circles. And here's that tip for double Pokémon. Capture them at the same time and you'll get double your points. Oh yeah, that would be lovely. So we got all the tips, and that's basically how it works. I would absolutely love to check the Capture Arena challenge, and in we go! And everyone just phased right into me, that is awesome. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> yeah, it really is an arena. <laughs> If all these people have come to see us capture! Need he's no ballerina for sure, he's an announcer. Alright, I am ready to go. Well, kind of, because he's going to give us the rules. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Uh-huh, alright, sure, sure. <laughs> yep, by the way, we do not leave the capture screen at all in this one, making it a, the unique capture challenge of the game. There's no other capture challenge like this in the game, so... Yes, let's <laughs> just put it that way. You'll see when I get to the other ones. Alright, so we're gonna try and do this. We gotta try and keep the time going. The styler is probably less important than the time, except when, it, when the levels get harder and whatnot. But, yes, yes. I am not... No, I'm, I'm not gonna retire. No! I'm going to do my best, and I am ready to take this on. So we gotta get 50,000 points. Providing we do that extra time, extra loop thingajigger, we shouldn't have too much difficulty pulling it off. So, ready? Ready? Let's get capturing! And... Chikorita off the bat! Ah, see how I did those extra circles to extend my time up on the top screen there? That is key! Oh, don't go off the screen, you stinker! Ah, there we go! <laughs> and, needless to say, there's a little bit of luck involved, because, you know, Pokémon just do whatever the heck they want. But, not that much luck that you probably can't get 50,000 points every time. Ah, by the way, Electric Pokémon will also recover your time, just like any other Pokémon. So, oops, no, no! Off the screen again, well, near off the screen again, you stinker. <laughs> no, 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 you can do that up to 10 seconds, by the way, but uh, it, it gets a little bit risky when you try and get that many circles on the bad boys. <laughs> I'll just... Do, yeah, that one that one got all panicky, <laughs> so I'm just gonna capture that one and move on. And eventually, after so and so many Pokémon in each segment, you'll come across a boss Pokémon. Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> Maybe it's 10. And... It's right on! Can I capture it with ease? I can! And needless to say, they have a lot of points. And the rank up is like a level up, I guess you could say, to go to the next area. Here, and... The higher your ranks, the 
more difficult the Pokemon, I guess, and also the more points you'll get for Pokemon. So basically, the longer you last, the more points you'll be able to get out of this sucker. Whoa, 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 you were gonna do a Vine Whip, weren't ya? Weren't ya? Oh, no, 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 don't, don't worry, don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you, I'm just here to capture you. Ooh, Combuskin, that's, that's a tricky one to get extra points out of. Just the extra time out of, so I'm just gonna take it as I go, and I'm, I'm gonna actually do that. Yeah, because you're, you're zapping in place, and I'll, I'll take the risk of circling around you. Woo! Okay, I'm doing pretty well time-wise here. It's not that difficult to get 50,000 points, as long as you do this extra circle thing to keep extending your time, because it'll basically outlast the game. And you can let multiple Pokémon appear on the screen at the same time, and sometimes it just happens, but I wouldn't recommend letting it happen, because this is an endurance match more than anything. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna... Oh jeez, you see two at once right there. Oh! Oh, oh! Wait, wait, boss is incoming! So was that, was that 11 this round? Oh, Machoke. Yeah, how's it going there? You aren't that difficult! You aren't that difficult to capture if I recall correctly, just as long as you don't do too many jumps. Oh. <laughs> ah, you are being a stinker today, aren't you? Ah, you need to circle more vertically. Oh, <laughs> ah, this is what I mean about maybe the luck factor a little bit on certain Pokemon. Oh, I got it. Okay, let's get past the boss. Going into the next round, and the starts. Oh no, <laughs> just immediately started sludging right off the bat. <laughs> Alright, so, oh, oh, bubbles, huh? Oh no, bubbles. No, whoop. Ah, see, the Pokemon are getting harder now to get that extra time, but try and do it. Oh shoot, wherever you can, I guess. <laughs> uh, slushy, slushy. Well, or scratchy, scratchy, whatever you want to call it. Whatever move that was, it's kind of hard to tell. It was probably a scratch, although I do believe they can learn slash. And there we go. Alright, that was pretty good. So you gotta get that time going there. And because you can do more than one circle a second, it's, you know, in theory, a good idea to do as many of those plus ones or you know, the seconds as you possibly can in any sort of given circular time that you have, I guess you can say. Yeah! Like that. <laughs> I was getting close to the edge of my circular pattern, so I just released it. Whoa, that was almost... Uh, loss of my circle. Oh, incoming boss. What could it be? What could it be? Oh, jeez. No. This one is something else. Oh, okay. Maybe not. That's <laughs> I had more difficulties with the Machoke. I guess maybe because I have a larger line compared to when I first encountered that, but still. Anyway. Ooh, nice. Good. Extra time. Spinarak. Oh no 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 no! You're not gonna you're not gonna web my line. I am going to web you. Ooh ooh ooh! No rollouts. Bad rollouts. Oh shoot! No tackles either. <laughs> all right. And uh, that looks like a okay opportunity. Doesn't it doesn't seem to be going all aggressive like. But yeah, you see how many how many points I'm getting per Pokemon now as I'm collecting them. So yeah, it's. Definitely, definitely easier to get points the longer you last. Look at how many I got there. So yeah, just keep just keep surviving as long as you can, and you'll make it to that 50,000 mark. If you somehow manage to uh, make it to rank up to rank up eight, it's pretty difficult to get there. But if you somehow manage to get there, you'll come across nasty ones like Steelix. Yeah. Um. Best of luck there. <laughs> Because <laughs> you don't have your Poké Assists. So, I got a double there. Very nice. So yeah, I made it to 50,000 easily. And incoming boss, what's it gonna be? It is gonna be Politoed! Oh, you and your water. Uh, no hoppies. No hops. Ah, okay, I got it. <laughs> and next rank up, we go. And Beedrill, holy poopers, you are an awkward one to get. I might not even be able to get you. Oh, okay, I managed. <laughs> but yeah, Beedrill's tough little cookie there. By the way, I don't believe any of these Pokemon will be added to our browser, so uh, we still got to capture them out in the field. Although Pokemon, Pokemon, the other challenges will be added to our browser. 
Oh! Double capture! Come on, get it before the time. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> and I'm out of time. 68,800 points. There we go. Unless I have more time. No, I don't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, so after completing this challenge, while well, getting over 50,000 points, which as I said, not that difficult to do, uh, you'll be able to unlock other Pokémon in the other challenges, so that's why I went and did this one first. It did, it, it definitely went pretty good, not bad bad is indeed. <laughs> it was, it was, 52 Pokémon, and the total scores! <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. And he'll never surpass your record ever. <laughs> no, I would not like to. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna end off the part here because I did what I came here to do. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I continue my trek through the post game. <laughs>